If you've ever wondered how many truly ounces of silver it would take to be a millionaire, the answer is what's going on everybody welcome back to another video hope you're doing well feeling great and staying safe it's a great day to have a great day today i wanted to talk about silver and how many troy ounces of it it would take to be a millionaire and also the importance of measuring your wealth in troy ounces rather than dollars but really quick just in case you're new make sure to subscribe for daily videos also subscribe to my second channel which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content Brand new video over there, go check it out, the link will be in the description. And if you want to get some DYDSS merchandise to help support the channel, I would really, really, really appreciate it. Any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below. Thank you in advance, it's more than appreciated. But today, I wanted to talk about what it would take to be a silver millionaire. How many troy ounces of silver do you need to technically be a millionaire. And before we even get into the specific numbers, I want to talk about the importance of measuring your wealth in troy ounces rather than dollars. Now, by the way, the term millionaire, that's kind of on a teeter-totter if you think about it, because you're a millionaire in what? A million dollars? Is that US dollars, Canadian dollars, Australian dollars? To be a millionaire or someone with a million dollars depending on what country you're in or what country you go to, if you take your million dollars here, go to a different country, convert it to that currency, congratulations, it's no longer a million dollars and you're no longer a millionaire, assuming that it's a lower dollar amount. Might be worth the same, but the way the conversion works, it's pretty weird. Now, for those of you who do not know, a millionaire is not someone who earns a million dollars or more every single year. A millionaire is someone who has one million dollars worth of assets, what they own, what belongs to them, their businesses, their stock portfolio, the properties that they own, the silver and the gold. A quick example I can give about income versus net worth. If somebody put a million dollars into Coca-Cola stock today, that can get them about 20,000 shares of Coca-Cola that they own, a million dollar portfolio. But because of the dividend yield, paying the investor about 42 cents per share per quarter, year after year after year after year, it would be a million dollar net worth but it would be an income of about thirty-three dollars to $34,000 a year. The assets in their possession, the assets that they either bought into, invested in, got some way, somehow, acquired, whatever the case may be, it's what they own minus what they owe. So if you're somebody who has a grand total of $0.00 worth of debt, you don't owe any currency to anyone, you've never taken out a loan or you don't currently owe any money, you paid off your loans, whatever the case may be, if you don't owe anything, what you own and what it's worth, that would be your net worth. So when it comes to the silver and also the gold, however much silver or gold you have, if you want to measure it in dollars, could play into your net worth. However, I don't believe measuring your silver and your gold in dollars is the right way of going about it. In fact, the only thing that I measure in dollars would be my currency. I measure my currency in dollars. I measure my wealth in troy ounces of silver. Now, earlier in the video, I was just saying how you could take a million dollars or you could take a thousand dollars or fifteen dollars. And if you were to go to a different country and you were to convert your dollars into their dollars or their currency, pounds, euros, whatever the case may be, it's now a different amount measured in whatever their currency is. But if you were to take however much silver it is that you want to take to a different country, if you want to take your silver to Canada, if you want to take your gold to France, if you want to take your platinum to Italy, if you want to take your precious metals anywhere, wherever you take it, it's still the same exact amount of troy ounces of silver or gold. The dollar bills, the currency, the fiat, that fluctuates. The money is constant. Now, moving away from that, now that we have a little bit better of an understanding of net worth and millionaire and, and all that terminology, now let's talk about what's actually important, the silver and also the gold. As I'm recording this video, the spot price of silver is $27.26 per troy ounce. That's the spot price, not including a premium. So if you've ever wondered how many troy ounces of silver it would take to be a millionaire, the answer is 
Hey, really quick, I interrupt this video to let you know I am going to be going live in the VIP club tonight around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out. It's going to be fun. We're going to be talking about stacking, prepping, and a whole bunch of other stuff for hours and hours and hours on end. Link in the description if you want to join. $1 million divided by the current spot price, which is $27.26, would bring us to 36684 ounces of silver. Now that is excluding the premium. We can actually take that $27.26 and actually crank it up to, let's just say, I don't know, maybe 32 bucks. If we want to factor in a little bit of a premium, I think anybody who can get a silver eagle or a silver maple or even a generic round or bar for about 32 bucks. Unfortunately, right now, that would be a pretty fair premium. So if we were to take a million dollars and divide it by 32, instead of 2726, it would bring us to 31,250 troy ounces of silver. Now, let's take a look at the Silver Eagles, because the Silver Eagles, they are not going for $27.26. They're not going for 32 bucks. Maybe they're going for closer to 32 bucks at a small family-owned coin shop of some sort. But if you were to go to any of these online precious metal dealing websites, these are not going for 20 something or even 30 something dollars. They're actually going for 42, 43, $44 per Silver Eagle, which is bonkers to me. That's, that's completely out of control. So if we were to take a million dollars and divide it by 43, let's just say we have a whole bunch of silver, just nothing but silver eagles. One million dollars divided by 43 would bring it to 23,256 ounces of silver. Now also, just for the sake of the conversation, just, just for laughs, Let's take a million dollars and divide it by 50 because we have seen the spot price of silver go up to the $50 mark before. Historically speaking and metaphorically speaking, if it happened yesterday, it can happen again tomorrow. We know that it's possible because it's already occurred. History has already proven silver to be able to climb its way up to $50 an ounce. It hasn't proven silver's ability to sustain the $50 mark, but we know that it can go to $50 an ounce. So let's just take a million dollars and divide it by 50. That would bring us to 20,000 troy ounces of silver. So obviously, I'm throwing a lot of numbers at you. And the reason I'm doing that is because it's always fluctuating. It always goes up and down in different ways. And that's just going by the spot price and the premiums today. I made this video once before. I made this video like a year ago when spot price was in the teens. Guess what? The total number of troy ounces of silver at the time it took to become a millionaire was completely different number. In fact, I think it was like 60,000 rather than 36,000. So it's all determined by the spot price. It's all determined by the premiums. It's all determined by supply and demand. It's determined by if you're going by spot price, if you're factoring in a premium, if you're talking about higher premium silver coins, it really depends on so many different factors. And with the spot price fluctuating every moment of the day when the markets are opened, it's always all over the place. So to measure your wealth in dollar bills really makes absolutely no sense because if you got 36,684 ounces of silver, according to the spot price, that would be a million dollars worth of silver but what happens when the market opens up and if silver drops down by 25 cents all of a sudden it's not worth a million dollars anymore all of a sudden you're no longer a millionaire i guess one could technically argue that to be a silver millionaire maybe it would take one million troy ounces of silver which is an ungodly amount of silver i would love to have even one percent of that but the point is you're not supposed to measure your wealth in dollars you're not supposed to measure your silver or your gold in dollar bills. And by the way, speaking of gold, for those of you wondering how many troy ounces of gold it would take to be a millionaire, once again, just for laughs, let's do this. Spot price of gold, as I'm recording the video, is $1,784.60. That's excluding a premium. $1 million divided by the spot price of gold today, as I'm recording the video, would equate to about 560 ounces of gold. A whole lot less gold to become a millionaire than the amount of silver it takes to become a millionaire, but we all know how the gold to silver ratio works. We all know that gold is significantly, significantly, significantly more valuable 
than silver, which is actually why I prefer silver between the two. I love gold, don't get me wrong, and I stack gold. I just got some new gold just the other day, and if you're in the VIP club, you know exactly what I'm talking about because I did a live unboxing. I'll leave it linked in the description, by the way. I am going to be going live tonight around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out, and there's also giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, and a ton of other perks and bonuses and, and fun stuff going on. Come hang out, link in the description. But I wanted to talk about this today, not just to talk about what it takes to become a silver millionaire. And I guess technically one could also argue what would the spot price have to go to with a current specific number of ounces of silver that you have. So let's just say you have, I don't know, a thousand ounces of silver. What would the spot price have to go to for your stack of 1,000 ounces of silver to make you a millionaire? But that's not even something that I, I agree with. That's not something that I would want to happen. I don't really want to become a silver millionaire. Becoming a millionaire some other way would be pretty cool, but to become a millionaire by silver completely going to the moon, that's not really something that I want. That's not really something that I'm looking for. And the reason I say that is because if silver were to officially go to the moon, that would pretty much mean that the dollar bill is six feet under, if you know what I'm talking about. For silver to go up that astronomically high, you know, people are hoping and praying for a hundred or two hundred or a thousand dollar an ounce silver spot price. That's not something that I'm personally interested in. And, and the main reason for that is because I don't really care what the spot price is. I don't plan on selling, so it doesn't really matter too much to me. So silver can go to $15 an ounce. It can go to $1,500 an ounce. It doesn't really matter because I'm not selling anyway. I'm not putting my cash into the precious metals just to take the cash out of the precious metals. I'm not going forward just to go back. That's not really what I'm trying to do. I understand everybody's stacking for a different reason, but that is not the reason I'm stacking for. I'm stacking to preserve my wealth for the long term. I'm stacking to save my money, to store value for years, decades to come. And yes, I would consider parting ways with my silver, but not for dollar bills, unless there was a complete and total emergency, but that's why I stack dollar bills as well. So hopefully, God forbid there's an emergency, but if there's an emergency, hopefully I won't have to dip into the silver because hopefully I'll have the cash to cover whatever it is that I need to cover. But I would consider trading some silver, not for dollar bills, but for more gold. I've talked about this in the past. I've talked about how if the gold to silver ratio gap closes in, I could potentially see myself trading a little bit, not all of it, not most of it, not half of it, just some of it, some of my silver for some gold if and when the gold to silver ratio hits the, I don't know, maybe one to 40, I think that would be pretty ideal. One to 30, I don't know if I necessarily see that happening, but if that happened even better, that'd be cool, that would work. But I'm always about trying to take steps ahead. I'm always about trying to move forward. I'm not interested in profiting off of silver. I'm not interested in the dollar bill value spot price going up and then selling my silver just to pay capital gains tax and now have a larger amount of dollar bills that are weaker than they were before. If you know how inflation works, if you know that the dollar bill is depreciating in value every second of every minute of every hour of every day of every week of every month of every year of every decade, since the very beginning, the dollar bill has been losing purchasing power and the silver and also the gold, it has been used for years and years and years. Silver, I mean, silver and gold, they've been here for thousands and thousands of years. But since the creation of the dollar bill, the man-made invention dollar bill, IOU debt note dollar bill, people have been using silver and gold to preserve their wealth, and they use the precious metals as a hedge against inflation because inflation, unfortunately, is inevitable. I don't want to harp too much about the dollar bill. I, I like the dollar bill. I appreciate the dollar bill. We need the dollar bill. It's a very useful tool in the short term. I don't want to badmouth the dollar bill. I actually want nothing but the best for the dollar bill. In fact, if the dollar bill can keep its head above water, and that would equate to silver not necessarily going straight up in the air, that's perfectly fine with me. I would rather the dollar bill be just fine than for the dollar bill to completely fall on its face and silver to completely take off. And that's a really common misconception or a mistake that people make. I've gotten comments left and right for years and years on end saying that they hope and pray, they have their fingers crossed that the dollar bill completely collapses and becomes obsolete. Therefore, their silver would go to being worth potentially millions and millions and millions of dollars. 
that's something that I never understood because if the dollar bill were to collapse and become obsolete and no longer really be in existence, how would your silver be worth a million dollars? How are you going to measure it in something that is no longer here? It's almost like trying to decipher how much your silver or your gold is worth in Yugoslavia notes in 2021. Yugoslavia notes don't even exist anymore. Fiat currency IOU dollar bills here today, gone tomorrow, constantly fluctuating. But the silver and the gold, they're constant. So hoping for the dollar to collapse just so your silver goes up in dollar value it's kind of oxymoronic if you think about it. And even the title of this video is oxymoronic. Silver Millionaire? Kind of contradicts if you think about it. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know what are your thoughts on today's video topic. Bit of a strange one today. I like to explore different topics. And I also like to take old videos of mine and remake them, which is essentially what I'm doing today. Last time I talked about this, I'm pretty sure it was when spot price was in the teens. And I'm pretty sure in the video I said that the number of troy ounces it would take to equate to a silver millionaire was closer to a 60,000 troy ounces of silver with today with the current spot price it's 36,684 again it's always fluctuating again it's really determined by troy ounces not dollar bills but there are plenty of things out there that you probably should measure in dollar bills for example your bills for example, investments that you make, maybe business, stocks, real estate, whatever it is that you're into, whatever it is that you do, there's different ways of measuring growth. There's different ways of measuring how to scale a business. There's different ways of measuring how much something is worth or value. It, it all varies. But when it comes to the silver and the gold, when it comes to the precious metals, when it comes to real, true, honest money, constitutional money, international money, biblical money, I believe, in my opinion and from my perspective, not a financial advisor, nothing on this channel is financial advice. Do your own research, form your own opinions, make your own decisions based off of your conclusions, not mine. I believe should be measured in troy ounces, not in dollars. But I want you guys to head on down to the comments and let me know, how do you measure the precious metals? And if anybody's interested in joining the Precious Metals VIP Club, it's where I can do things on my own terms, not on YouTube's terms, my terms. I'm hosting privately held live streams. They're smaller, easier to manage. Don't forget, I'll be going live tonight around 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Come hang out. I'm also doing giveaways, discounts, personalized promo codes, shout outs, deal alerts when silver and gold is on sale on a variety of different websites. And of course, you can watch all my videos early and commercial free. Come join the Precious Metals VIP Club. It'll be the first link in the description. You're invited. I'd be happy to have you. And if you guys enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button. If you guys like me, make sure to hit that subscribe button like a Karen hits a bus window. Also subscribe to my second channel, which is my backup channel for exclusive weekly content. Brand new video over there. Go check it out. The link will be in the description. I'm trying really hard to hit 2,000 subscribers. We just hit 1,700 and I appreciate that. And if you want to help support the channel in the biggest possible way, please consider getting yourself some DYDSS merchandise. Of course, we have some precious metal themed t-shirts and hoodies, which are up for grabs, along with a ton of other products, t-shirts, hoodies, even stickers, many of which are raising funds and awareness for different charity organizations, such as the recently released Kraken Stackin' t-shirt, hoodie, sticker, and coffee mug inspired by the beautiful two ounce silver kraken coin which by the way is helping us raise a little bit of funds and awareness for ocean cleanup charity organizations at no additional cost to you it comes out of my pocket not yours any and all merchandise can be found by clicking the first link in the description section down below thank you in advance it's more than appreciated and i want you guys to head on down in the comments and let me know once again when it comes to the silver, when it comes to the gold, do you agree or disagree with my thesis, which is that should be measured in troy ounces, not dollar bills? If you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine. You don't have to agree with me. But I'm very curious, everybody watching this right now, 
with the theme of the video, with the overall subject being a silver millionaire and needing 36,684 troy ounces of silver at the moment, according to the current spot price, what are your thoughts on that? What are your thoughts on 36,684 ounces of silver? You have that much silver? <laughs> I sure don't. I wish I did. Head on down to the comments and let me know anything and everything related to today's video topic. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And remember, don't you dare stop smiling. Peace.